So previously we looked at importing text files and deleting them and reading the data and then outputting it. Um, but when we're in, uh, using uh, data sets in data science, often they're presented in a uh, comma separated values file. So for example, on my desktop here, I've got my input file. Uh, if I open that with text edit, uh, I've just got three numbers in there and they're separated by commas. Um, so if we preview this normally, it's actually read by Excel or numbers uh, whatever your spreadsheet application is, so it'll actually show up like a grid um, in your uh, columns. Uh, so we're going to uh, repeat a little bit of what we did before, uh, but what we're going to do is to read in this CSV file, and then in future videos, I'm gonna show you how to manipulate those. So let's start off with our function declaration. So previously we did these extensions, so if you're not familiar, familiar with those, please go back to the previous videos. Uh, we're gonna define the function, this one we called read CSV. Uh, we're going to have two parameters. The first one will be the input file name like we had before, which will be a string. And then we'll have whatever our separator is. Uh, so in this case, it will be a comma, but uh, perhaps you have a different problem um, or a different file, uh, which has a different separator, which you can deal with. Perhaps it's just a space. And this function is going to return a string. Okay, so from here, the first thing we're going to do, like we did before, is to split our file name. Okay, we'll use our extensions for this, which uh, we created previously. Uh, so my file extension uh, will equal whatever my input file is, and then I'll use that uh, string extension to find out what that is. And then I'll do the same for my file name. Okay, and that's sorted. Next thing I'll do is to get the file URL. So again, we covered this previously, so it shouldn't be anything new for you here. Uh, have a look back at the previous videos if you're unsure what I'm doing here. Uh, basically, we're gonna get this file manager, we'll use the input methods, find the URL of that file. Uh, we can search inside the desktop directory, inside the user domain mask. Uh, for nil, um, and you put create true. Okay, now we've got that uh, file URL. We can get the input file and the data from it. So let's get the input file. Uh, we use the file URL. Uh, we can append the component path. Uh, we use our file name. And then we can do append the extension. And we can use our file extension. Okay, so that gets our file. And then we can get the data. Okay, and we'll use a do catch clause here to ensure that any errors are handled. For example, if uh, there is no file existing, that's probably the most common one you're going to have. Or if the file's named differently, that's probably the biggest error that you're gonna get. So let's get that saved data. from that input file and then we'll get it to return now this is the big thing that's different uh, from what we did previously because we're actually going to return this uh, as an array of strings so instead of uh, just giving back the string we're going to split uh, the string up uh, by its components and it's going to be separated by whatever that separator is that we pass through. Okay, and then our return statement will be slightly different than what we did previously. Uh, we need to return a string, so I'm just going to put my error uh, file can be found. Okay, so then we have our function ready to go. Uh, we can start to use it. So let's give that a go. I'm going to create my variable called my data. It's going to use my function read CSV. Okay, I need an input file. My input file is on my desktop here. It's called input.csv. Uh, make sure that you do uh, put your uh, playground file in the same position as where this is. It just makes it a little bit easier. My separator is a comma. And then I should be able to print out my data. So I'm going to run this. 
Okay, so it finds it as a string and then it separates that then into uh, individual items. So for example, now it makes it a bit easier when I have my item and I just want the first item, I'll be able to find each of those indexes. So I can just get the number 34. Okay, so we have successfully wrote in a CSV. We've separated that into a list rather than just returning it as a string.